try to influence the design process in a way to reduce the environmental impact. And um, one of the tools we use for that is life cycle assessment. And you have a look at all the different inputs and outputs which may cause environmental impact. Uh, if you look at uh, the train, we have over 120,000 parts. And we have, uh, for one train, we have 80, 100, 120 suppliers. And you have to ask each supplier for their material flow, for their energies, for the, for the carbon footprint. And there is some influence exactly by the extraction of raw materials. Of course, there's some in the production too, but by far the most impact is caused by the use phase because the train runs very long for several decades and several hundred thousand kilometers a year. So due to the energy demand and everything, you have a lot of environment, environmental impact then. And if you uh, improve your, your air resistance, your aerodynamics, yeah, you improve your carbon footprint at the end because you, you need uh, less energy to, to run the train. So maybe if you go for some new materials like polymers, you might have a reduction in weight. But then you again have to check what the consequences are for the life cycle. Well, if we assume now that uh, maybe these lightweight materials might not be recyclable and we just assume them to go into landfill or something similar or be incinerated. And the LCA shows that even though we have such a worst case scenario, it will still be better because of the reduced weight. Then of course it's safe to use it and we can still hope that in 40 years time we even might be better because we can recycle it. And one result of our investigation was uh, that the HVAC system, the heating, ventilation, air conditioning unit, uh, is consuming about 40% uh, of our energy consumption. And this is a, a huge contribution to our global um, emission impact. Finally, we can reduce our air conditioning compared to a normal, to a, to a standard air conditioning, about 20% less. One uh, very important point is uh, which kind of power do you have? Do you have renewable power? Do you have re uh, nuclear power? Or do you have fossil power? If you design a product, any product, not only a train, in a way that you can replace certain materials which wear down or which are just not um, usable anymore, then of course you can extend the lifespan. The end of life is uh, also a very important stage because uh, we have now, uh, I would say, uh, the problem that we have a scarcity of resources. And if you recycle this, uh, this device yeah, and you get out the gold or you get out the palladium, yeah, you get some very important uh, resources back from the system.